999! I not know if I had butter to watch this crass propaganda. I don't understand why so much hate. So little understanding. How can they understand you, Hitler? <laughs> You're not a very understanding person. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to... Do not feed the monkeys. I'm your host, the Birdman of the Falcon. We finished our first run, and a lot of you guys confirmed I got the best ending, which was amazing and fairly surprising at the same time. That being said, there's a lot of cages that we have not seen, haven't even smelled, haven't even gotten a whiff of, and there's also the two or three cages at the end of my last run that we didn't get a complete ending to because the game swept me off to the ending. And I asked you guys, want to see some more? A lot of you guys said yes. This time, we're going to be hoping to get new cameras, but if we don't get new cameras, we'll be doing the opposite for the cages to see what the different outcome would be. And I'm also going to go with a bit of more of an evil route. So, as opposed to doing good things, I will be doing evil things, opposite things, and... Well, I guess that basically sums it up. So, skip all this. Yep, do not feed the monkeys. Do not feed the monkeys. Well, you know what, game? I'm going to feed him again. You don't tell me what to do. I mean, technically you do, because i got to, like, you know, get evaluated by you guys. Otherwise, apparently it's game over. But, in terms of feeding the monkeys, that I do on my own volition, baby. Because you don't control the bird, man. I like how the... I just noticed that the first time. The monkey's eye opens up for the very first time, and it remains open to the end, apparently. Alrighty, monkey vision. Let's go in here. Oh, we got new cages right off the bat. Two of them, apparently. Oh, that was a windmill there. Lonely man. Okay. Alright, so I'm happy because we're starting off already with two brand new cages. I don't think I picked the windmill up. Hurry up, hurry up. Is that Hitler? <laughs> I always think you know what, what it means to be. I think it is Hitler. In your mood? I just saw I just like noticed a little um little little Hitler stash. Not good, not good. I depressed. I always think about the past, you know? Yeah, yeah, you would think about the past, wouldn't you? That's exactly what you'd be doing. Why is he still alive in this time and age? Technically he couldn't. I, I got, I'm, I'm terrible with years. He couldn't be alive still. Arriving country. I always live in this neighborhood. But you have a foreign accent. <laughs> ah, remember, I have to take the blood pressure medicine. Now you go. <laughs> Uh-oh, I've been discovered. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. You must go now. You go, you go. <laughs> he is doing that. Fine, I'm leaving. I'll be back later at the end of the, my afternoon shift. Don't, don't let Hitler fool you, ma'am. I wait for you happy. I grateful and generous old man. I would like to have another visit. He's not what he appears, ma'am. Okay, it's this guy. Or a girl. I don't know what you are, to be honest. You're, you're a female, I guess, because you're the masked maiden. I mean, you could be a guy and be a maiden, too. That's fine. I mean, it's your own volition. I ain't judging, dude. Hey, are you there? Hello. It wasn't easy, but I got you in. We could skip this, right? We've seen this before. You know, welcome to the club. Make sure to not feed the monkeys, but at the same time, feed the monkeys the money and, you know, make sure to remember to go out and get food and not die. Yeah, we know. We know this, right? I think we got everything from this first one, right? We got windmill. We got train. Everything's fairly all right. Just make sure the edge of this map is fine before we roll off. We might have... Oh, here we go. Antenna. Very good. Very good. And that's about it. Okay. Let's find out what we got here. I'm going to start off as fast as possible because I don't, want to, I don't want to fall behind. I want to solve as many cameras as possible this run. So we have a windmill. Updating browser. Yeah, you do your thing. Search for windmill. Search for antenna windmill. Search for antenna. Okay. Yeah, I know what an antenna is. Thanks a lot for reminding me. Antique locomotive. Antique locomotive. Windmill. Oh, the old hay train is back on track. An antique locomotive and four passenger cars have given us back the joy of train travel. The first journey, we're pack urban hipsters fleeing stress. The old hay train is what it's called, huh? There we go. Anderson City, the Sharp Mountain Gorge, Browning Fields, and the Wet Willow Woods. This is basically telling us its route, huh? Okay. Nothing over here that we could get? No? Huh? So we might have to find out where the location exactly is, huh? So what if we do like Wet Willow Woods and antenna, maybe? 
Is that what we're trying to do? Browning fields again? Hmm. Did I do this one just now? Yeah. We might have to more than likely, like, pinpoint where that exactly is, is what I'm thinking anyway. Anderson City. Did I check these out on their own? Oh, there we go. Anderson City. There's a train track. That's green right there. I wonder if it could be that. I'm thinking Browning Fields, though. Sharp Mountains. The Suit Massacre. That's eerie. Browning Fields. Oh, but you see, this actually has, like, um, yeah, it totally is Browning Fields. I'm gonna go with Browning Fields. We kind of got that hint anyway from that page that we popped. So if we get asked, like, where that is, I'm gonna say Browning Fields. Okay, so we've gotten that. Let's come over here now. This has to be a, a playboy? <laughs> I think he's a, he's a vulnerable... He's a vulnerable scene here that we know of at the moment anyway. You come down over here. Pop this open. Keep an eye on everything. Vulnerable scene here, huh? Yeah. Foreign accent old man. Vulnerable senior, foreign accent. Vulnerable senior. Hey! New care program for senior citizens created. It seeks to provide care to the weakest, most vulnerable elderly people. We have a phone number too. Well, what is it? What the hell is this? I forgot what this one is. Where are you, deadbeat? Remember that I'm coming to collect the rent in two days. In the afternoon, $90 as usual. Have the money ready. Yeah, yeah. Hold your horses, lady. I'm busy. So smiles for seniors. Let's call them up right now. Let's see what's up. Although we should probably call that after we get some more information. Well, man, we might get some information from that. Welcome, you've reached the voicemail of the Smiles for Seniors. Please state in a loud, clear voice. One, if you want a general information about the service. Two, if you want to consult a list of citizens admitted into the program. That could be good. And three, if you wish to make a complaint about our service. Well, let's get some general information first. Smiles for Seniors is a social support program aimed at protecting and helping our most vulnerable senior citizens. Uh, exemplary, honest, and admired national government. Do you have any other query? Okay. Let me check that list. I'm sorry, but we did not understand your response. Could you repeat it loudly and clearly? Two. I'm sorry, but we still cannot understand your response. Could you repeat it loudly and clearly again? Two. To check the list of citizens admitted to the program, please say the last name of the person you are inquiring about. Ah. Uh -huh. That was going to work, but... <laughs> I figured as much. Okay, so we do need a name. So we guys still gotta mess around. Lonely old man. Depressed. Okay. Lonely and depressed. So depressed and lonely. Okay, so not really too much luck, but he is back. So I'm thinking we're just looking for some new info. Nice to see you. It's good for an old man like me. Not feeling so lonely. There we go. Oh, we got a name, boys. I told you I'd like to visit twice. Let's look at your file. Mr. Statler right there. There we go. How are you? Yes, I am him. Well, happy that I stay living, but depressed about how the things are out here. <laughs> I don't understand you. When I young, there were values and respect. People fight and they die for ideals, but now, look how the world works. You're upset with how the world is now, Hitler? Mm, I'm not in total agreement. I don't think the past was as good as you describe it. Yeah, not at all. For as much as we complain about the, you know, the present, you know, things were kind of bad back then. Still are bad, but they were even worse. In other countries, the past was plagued with blood and wars, yeah? I mean, we still have wars now, but we're talking about Hitler's war here at a sec. By the way, as I mentioned before, you have a foreign axe. Well, I tell you, I always live in this neighborhood, dammit. <laughs> Getting angry now. I always live in this house. Whatever you get him so mad, he starts goose-stepping or something. You know what? It's time for my incontinence medicine. You go now. Oh, but... Go away! Go! <laughs> I like that part. Okay, don't get upset. I'll be back tomorrow at the same time. I've been very happy for your visit. But now you go away. Go. <laughs> it's a jerk. Okay. Well, we got a name at least, too. So that's gonna help us out tremendously. What's up here? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, he's back. Oh, what you up to? 
You picked up a book, huh? Okay, you're back. What are you doing, Hitler? Oh. Oh, it's a it's a movie. I think he put in a VHS tape. Okay. The invading army troops crossed the border and launched an offensive that plunged the continent into chaos. Look how young and how much of a black mustache. I told you that's Hitler! Victory seemed close at hand, but a sudden turn of events thwarted the plans of their bloodthirsty leader. Bloodthirsty. Is what you are, bastard of inferior race. Yeah, yeah. Finally, the Allied army counterattack crossed the Brohenagen River and took the city of Schrodenburg. I'm sorry, my fellow German bros out there, if I'm butchering your locations. 999! I not know if I had butter to watch this crass propaganda. I don't understand why so much hate. So little understanding. How can they understand you, Hitler? <laughs> You're not a very understanding person. I only put old man. We are grateful and generous. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's gone for good for the most part, I would say. Um, what was that email about? Right? The email? Voluntary observation studies. Uh, to do so, we need to provide... Yes, that's uh, obviously a good way for us to make money, so it's all good. So, let's see about... Oh boy, here we go. Fan of war movies, Allied Soldier. He was a crazy dictator. Crazy dictator. Mustache. Where's... There it is. Really? Crazy dictator? Chili? Bloodthirsty. Crazy dictator? You gotta be kidding me. Fredonia? Okay. Um, oh, we got a location straight up. Come on, dude. What about Fredonia? Crazy dictator? Agus Henkel, the madman who set fire to the continent. On the 55th anniversary of his appearance, we look back on the sinister dictator of Fredonia. 55 years he's been missing. Bunker. Okay, that's who he is. Vulnerable scene here. <laughs> so, wait a minute. If we know who he is... I guess for this one, we probably should call in, huh? They're probably closed now, I would say. But it is an automatic machine, so... It might work. Yeah, okay. Um, let me check the list. No, dude, don't start this. The freaking list. We're gonna ask about Mr. Statler. We are sorry, but the recording of your voice sounds distorted. Please repeat the names less loudly. Mr. Statler. What are you up to, machine? We inform you that there is just one individual with that last name in our database, and we can confirm that Daniel Statler is in our list of smiles for seniors programs. Do you have another query? Well? We're going evil. So telling these people that that's Hitler would be good. Evil would be not telling them. So how do we go about this in an evil way? I don't quite know. Alright, um... Let's see what happens if we ask about Hitler from this guy. <laughs> or Henkel, whatever. Not in your list. Okay, figured as much. Okay, so, um, let's, let's go, go back. Okay, uh, yeah, I got it. Thank you. Another imbecile. You're the imbecile. Um, so let's come over here. Daniel Statler, Fredonia, August Henkel. Um, the only thing we don't have right now is going to be this over here. Whatever this war of Fredonia, maybe? No? This is the only thing we're missing over here. Past Fredonia. We can start buying a cage now for 50 buckaroos. We can do that. I'm going to actually do that now because I want to get as many... I want to get as many cameras completed for this run. Huh. You get a picture of a random windmill here, huh? I just find it curious because over here we have a, you know, a windmill too. Different variety for a fact. And we'll get you tomorrow at night. Okay. At least I don't think there's going to be any activity for those cameras right now at night time. This will be our first day complete. We have plenty of things, so I'm just hoping that we get an email pretty soon. Hooking us up. 
Okay, we got our email immediately as the, or just instantly as the day ended. We have four more cameras. Landlady will be back tomorrow, so we need money before that happens. Good. And we have learned about the Wildland Witnesses starting to show up. I think they show up today, isn't it? To give me the plant. That plant is going to shrivel and die, boys, because I think, as I mentioned, we're going to go evil. And we have... Ooh, that's a new camera. Boys, we're just getting new cameras this time around. I hope that's an activity camera, too. Observation Cage 1. In which town is Cage 1 located? I think it's Browning Fields. I feel fairly confident about Browning Fields. And... $70 redues will be delivered. How long do I have to wait for this one? Is it an entire day? Apparently not. Hopefully we get it kind of soon. Because I need money. Alright. Anything over here that we have to worry much about? Um... This thing here. The only thing that comes to mind... Oh, here we go. Hot dogs. The only thing that comes to mind right now, in terms of doing something... Oh, here we go. Um, the only thing that comes to mind right now in terms of doing something is calling that place. Hopefully, before we got the seventy dollars, we were right about Browning Fields, boys. That was probably just like an easy camera that gives you from easy money, so we have to worry too much about it. Here we go, dude. Where the hell are you at? What's going on here? Are we at a um, newspaper place? <laughs> a very rundown one, maybe. No? Isn't this fella right here one of the monkeys, the great primates that we saw in the ending? Or am I wrong about this? Good morning, comrades. Good morning. The boss lady's office call. We have to finish 800 pages of do it yourself and pet care advice today. <laughs> Puppy. Fascinating. Well, I happen to be allergic. To be allergic, those beasts. And another 800 pages on the secrets of joy and spiritual well-being. Hmm. Again. Fantastic. Joy? What's that? <laughs> the witch is getting very antsy. Okay. We got a balance too now. Slave driver. Mr. Statler, right? Okay. Yes, I am him. <laughs> Come in here for the B word. How's your health today? Comrades in literature? You have to think our salary. I would love to read that, but I'm, I'm jumping back and forth just to make sure we don't miss any keywords here. I want to solve these as soon as possible. So we solve everything. Okay. People adoring me. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. He's over here thinking about his glory days, apparently. Bread? That is what I'm saying. Anyway, I was feeling hungry. And... You're off for now. Okay. So we'll check into the notes of that one pretty soon here. I don't understand your obsession with the past, Mr. Sadler. <laughs> In my opinion, it was a terrible time. Past worst. I think we've done that one. Plus, we gotta keep an eye on cruelty and violence. Oh, 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 yes, perfect. So glad we kept on it. Cruelty ba. They have weak character. The past was uh, horrible. You found them out. Genocide is very bad word. Oh, really? Really? You know what? Let's drop the subject. It's time for my encounter medicine. Go. Perfect. All right. So we have everything that we needed here for this one. And we have new cages to mess around with. So you know what, boys? We're going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Do not feed the monkeys. I guess we'll call this season number two. So far, every cage is new, which is great. And we're going to try to go evil with every decision for the most part. I'll try anyway. If I can see, like, an evil outcome, we'll go with the good one, but primarily we'll be doing evil, and then for anything that happens to repeat, we'll do the opposite. But so far, everything's new, so I'm loving it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're excited, let me know in the comments, and by leaving a thumbs up in the video for season number two. I'll catch you guys next time.